she's turned out this today, he thinks. <laughs> cold here we are weekly shop my challenge is i was showing the ropes last week my challenge is to do all the bits i've got on the list hopefully they're in navigation order so i know which way to go around <laughs> to pick the right items up the object of the game is to keep it on budget at about 45 quid so it ends up being quite quite a challenge and it's quite achievable but can i achieve it is the question we're about to find out. I think I'll wait before going back out. The timing, look at that. What is it? Everything in Britain involves rain. So I've packed the whole thing. And I've not put it, I'm not did bring the bags out with me, so that means I've got to pack it into the bags in the rain in the car. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just packed all that into the bags in the boot. Actually, it's slowed down a bit now. So, anyway, the target was mid 40s, and I came in law of attraction at 46 with all the bits on the list, taking into consideration all the offers. I know you're just loving this. Um, so I said if it comes to mid 40s I'll get the coffees that I get from the machine so it came to 49 so job is a good one definitely And a nice spring morning and I'm walking again No, it's not a marathon. I'm just off into the village because I've got to get medication for Shell Beecham's a bit of fed for me. Shell's got flu type symptoms. I've got the cold side of it So my head's bunging. They're starting to get bunged up. So I'm gonna get some Sudafed I think just to help clear that And she wants some grapes and oh yeah, I'm getting my hair cut for the summer. That's about it. Nice day for a walk. Again. Ping. A bit lighter now. A summer cut should do me. Grab some lunch. See if Shell's out of bed. Actually she was out of bed, but uh, trying to get over the worst of it. I've got the old medication and supplies. <laughs> some grapes. Go and vlog this for Grandma. So remember when one of the tests we were doing when I was sat on the bed a little while ago doing the revision with Jack and we had it flicked back now. Forming dilute nitric acid in terms. Yeah, so I was right then, that's a drain. Yeah. Why? Jesus. She knows about your exams coming up. And this is Jack's revision for his GCSE chemistry exam. Look for doing it. Okay, so that was that. So this, this is the result of it, so he's had that today, it goes towards 25% towards his GCSE. So, uh, yeah, so just run past me on what you've just told me. Jack's just um, got in from school, so. Uh, so that goes, so you had that test today, that one goes towards 25% towards... my science GCSE. No, it wasn't today. Oh, when... It was ages ago. Yeah, you did the test exactly. ages ago, but you've had the results today. Right. I've got results back today. And I got 85% of the um, marks, which got me an A. Woohoo! <laughs> Way to go! So that's 25% of it that I've got now. So there you go, doing good. 75% with an A. Yeah. So it's a Saturday morning, doing the old bite and cheese turnover run. Doing that old run today. Um, I just feel spring's just started, it's quite mild today, and it looks a bit dull and miserable. quite wintry but it's about 10 degrees so it's going to be a tight high of 15 today which is unseasonally mild for about a week shy of mid-March <laughs> um, so yeah just off that uh, to do that now nothing else much happening left Jack at karate thank god because he's in a foul mood today when he's in a foul mood he doesn't shout he doesn't shout or anything it's just really hard work and he's got a bad atmosphere I don't know whether it's because he's a teenager or whether it's just because he's an Aquarius, because Aquarius can be either ups or downs. So, 
sort of lad I've got with him now, because he's doing the editing, big time. We've all been there, teenagers, there you go. Sun's coming out now. That lady in there knows me now. She says, you always buy these every week. I thought what she said now. She didn't say that, she said something else. And I said, oh, it's for my lad. It's karate, does it? She says, I said, you know what teenagers are like? She says, I bet they don't touch the sides. I said, no, they don't. They do it straight down. But yeah, it's funny, really. I can't what she said now. It's something about a picnic, I don't know. But obviously, she knows I go in there most weeks, so it's quite funny, really. <laughs> That was a fail. Oh, nearly. I don't Is it this? No. No, that's it. That's it. That's that this. Turning. No. Slow down. So it's, this is the first fall. Straight up or something. Do you want to ring her? Just have turned down something called what right. what lane? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what lane? I don't think I have any credit with that. But... Yeah, you can use mine. So what lane wasn't the right one then? Which one is it in relation to the pub? It's this little lamp is like the wrong side of the fence. You're going to get moated, mate. It's all muddy. He's trying to get. Can't just pick him up. Like I can't pick him up. Why? Oh, he needs to go back over there. Look, he's going to hurt himself. Well, I can't. Can how can I pick him up? Of course you can. Yeah, look, he's trying to get back in. Can't you pick him up? Chuck him you over. Pick he's him acting up. like a dog, isn't he? Yeah, look. You pick him up. I'll switch me under. Oh, you're careful. You want to. What's it? It's not going to be able to. It is now. It's <laughs> not going to be able to pick him up. Oh, they're all going mad now. You'll think it's in distress. She's just going to be walking after it all blinking day. I think we're going to be some time running after a sheep. Or um, whatever. Did you open the gate? Yeah, that's what I think. Right, let me go on. The keys are in the car. So, oh, what the... oh god, they're all going mad now. Just need to get it back. Is it... Yeah, move out the way. Oh 
good deed for the day. We're done for Pinky trespassing in a minute. <laughs> Go on. No, 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 too far. Creating a barrier. You can't leave that open, Bean. You can't leave it open, they'll all come out. Right, move out the way, move out the way. This way. This way. Come on. Done. That way, that way, that way. No, Bean, Bean. Right, now going. Go to the back. Go to the back, not the front. Oh, God, you're driving that way. Do you have to get behind them? Have you seen dogs? And this way, this way. I'm yours now. Job done. Bleeding hell. They're all going, yeah, they're all going around there. No, he's not very happy. Yeah. Wild sheep chase. Who saved the sheep? Just a bit out. He's back with his mammy now. Is that? Well, that wouldn't go in with these directions, would it? Past the pub, on your left. So we've turned round, past the pub, and now these people are going to think we've got to. Well, this is the only turning off the pub. Gated road, it says. It's probably this. It says this is a gated road. Down here. Privet Drive. Do you remember any of these houses, Jack? She can't undo the gate now. <laughs> How hard can you be? It's more like a cycle path. In actual fact, this is very similar to where we came with Jack with the pram, don't you remember? Mm, yeah. Is this where it was? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. All those years ago. I'll be laughing at you going past it. What's that? I don't think so. So they'll be laughing at you missing the turning. So it's down this, it's down here, is it? Or is it the one before? Go back. Go back. Further back? Yeah. There he is in the middle of a field. Yeah, really what a palaver. Mm. How long's that taken? About an hour? Yeah. To get literally a mile down the road from where we live. <laughs> anyway, so that was the hunt for Charlotte's place where Jack's going this afternoon. He's going straight from there to have dinner there. He's going to church and then to his uh, fellowship. And why he couldn't get the proper directions to begin with, I don't know. Drives you bonkers. <laughs> So, first proper spring day today, really. So, we've come to the airport. It's really nice. Not all happening, but it is really nice. Like these ones, don't you? Mm. <laughs> 
fly by and see to your pants that way. You'd have a think about going in one, will you? Yeah, think about that. <laughs> what do you say? I'm a bit rocky like that. Think? it from here but he's coming out now that's captain that's the one that took us up he's just done a debriefing session with someone captain david i don't know what his second name is captain dave oh i think so captain dave so they'll probably be going out in a minute the question is which one are they going in is it the jet range was it one that was short? They were, the, the truck was fueling up two of the Schweitzers earlier, so it's probably one of those. So you're betting they're going in the Schweitzer, but not only that, you're betting they're going in the black one, not the white one. Place your bets, please. They're going towards, yeah, they're going towards the Schweitzer. Is it the black one or is it the white one? Getting in the black one, yeah, they are. They're getting in the black one. Always right. What do you think he's saying? Too short. Too short. Too short. <laughs> Captain Dave telling him he's too short because he had to take a cushion in with him. Going back to the car. Going back to the car. How can he be so bored? bird I was on about the other video, <laughs> the other week. I come out this morning a bit later than normal. Same route so far, but I don't know whether I'm going to follow it all the way along, because I got up this morning, do you know what, it was a really nice weekend. So Sunday we had, uh, um, well, the, well the forecasters wrote it was the hottest day of the year. <laughs> Correction, mildest day of the year, it was 15 degrees. They do get carried. Um, but it was a really nice day, you know, went to the airport and it was sunny and all the rest of it. So, uh, but the word on the street was the next two weeks are going to be really nice, you know, beginning of spring. And I thought, Tuesday again, go for a walk. I got up this morning and look at it. I put my hat on because it wasn't raining, but it's spitting, you know. It's not forecast, but... And, uh... Forecast today reckons it's going to... The rest of the week it's going to be quite nice, it's going to get better. Well, the forecast I looked at this morning is completely diverse. So it suggests, checking my shoes, it suggests otherwise. Dull, a bit of rain, so we'll see. But today's like really different, but uh, it's still very springy. But if you look at the video when I went last time, I was thinking that was two weeks ago. I would have said that this was two weeks previous, two weeks prior. Because it looks colder. So I'm out a bit later. Um, what time is it now? It's nine o'clock, I've been out about half an hour. So last time I, I set off a good hour, far earlier, but I did get up and I thought, mm, is it going to be worth it? So I deliberated a bit before I set out. But it's still really nice, very springy fired, lots of birds. That's what I like. See, it looks like February, doesn't it? Shut up. Really quiet now. Wait 
from all the roads. We need now is the sun to come out. Different road, same day, see where I was the other week. So quiet. The birds. Excellent time of year. Shame it's just not sunny, it just looks a bit wintry, but it's not that bad actually. Blossom, the only one I've seen, the only blossom I've seen so far. A bit early. Hour and a half walk. Got me milk. And I'm done. I'm not going to drink yet. <laughs> I just needed some milk, so I've done that on the way. Yet again. Uh, Mine's bigger than yours yet again. So it is. See, this is Jack's very lit up in the sunlight because he has lighting. Lighting, Doc. The reason he has lighting, it's all about the lighting is because I found I found a, um, a random light that we used to have that we're now using for studio lighting. Dig, eh? Like that. So what I did, I knocked this piece of wood up here and mounted the light to it. Very bright. Very bright. And that's wired up to a plug. So that just plugs in. And we've got a good lighting system. To dizzle. To dizzle. So it's like, so if I just come over here, there's no light. It's like that. Now if I sit down in the chair, and get blinded. It's like that. Now you know how it feels. Actual fact, it's doable though. It's it, it is. It's, it's hard when you look directly at the sun. See now, if you look over there. See, look, now we'll flick to Jack's camera. And then we'll flick back again. So this is what it's like on his. Then we'll flick back to the flip, flip to the flip. There you go. <laughs> it's really good. See, mine's a bit better and higher quality than yours. Is it? Yeah, it's a bit more. It looks, do you know what it looks like? Like a looking runway. It's the landing lights. Either that or it's the, Uf, it's the UFO coming in. It's December 21st. No, look, look, look. This, this really does look like that. Look. Look, watch when it changes to the lights. Wait. Once it focuses, it will go all black. Or it did before. It's not going to now because it doesn't want to. If I put the autofocus back on, look there. It's all black. Yeah. yeah. Right, man, they are. This is actually compensating for the light as well, though. What? Oh, whew. Yeah. You didn't see, I, I bet your camera will look quite good in that as well. Look, mine's just almost as the same. Well, not quite. Not quite. Look, yours isn't pitch black. You can't get the light there <laughs> quite between like the yours. bulb. <laughs> between the two. Ah! Is it confusing you? Ah! <laughs> Looks look through the lenses. No. Uh, too close.